Hey guys, and a welcome to the Gumboot Garden. I'm April, and this is... Carolyn. My tomato specialist. We are here with all of my tomatoes. I have eight, nine different types of tomatoes, and we're gonna go through the best and the worst of all of these tomatoes. Just wanted to pop in and go over a little bit more of what we're doing in this video. So originally, Kaylin was going to be doing all of the taste testing of the tomatoes, but Freya and I got a little bit too curious and had to try it for ourselves. So we have all tried all of the tomatoes blindfolded, and we're just describing all of the tastes and textures that we that we felt or tasted as we were going through each of them, and then just saying whether or not we did like them. So Kalen loves his tomatoes, his paste tomatoes, and that's what he considers like a normal tomato. Freya does not like tomatoes, and I I do like tomatoes. So um, yeah, let's get into it. All right, Kalen, your first one. Do you like it? Like Why it. don't you like it? It's soft. No, it's not really soft, it's sweet though. Ooh. This one's firm. Tasteless. <laughs> like water? Just firm and tasteless, what? but not juicy. Let's go for... Tastes the same as before. It tastes the same as the last one? Yeah. So you like that one then? Okay. Did that have like more seeds than the last one? Less seeds? I had no seeds in it. No. No? What was wrong with this one? Too soft. So I like the hard one. Oh, don't like it. Okay, that tasted like oh, nothing. That tasted like nothing. However, the texture of the tomato mushed or melted in my mouth. Ugh, didn't like that. Don't like it. Why don't you like it? Sweet. Really sweet. Juicy. It's really too juicy. Mm -hmm. Oh, big one. Very juicy. Ooh. Um, I, this is nice. It almost like it's sweet, but not sweet in the same sense that the others were sweet. I like that one. Ooh, I like that one. Is it your favorite of the normal tomatoes? Second or third? Third. It's kind of good. It's not like really soft. But as far as taste goes, how does it taste different? Um, I don't know. Let me try it again. Yeah, she likes it. Mm. I don't have much to say about this one. It was it was good. Not overly juicy, not overly it had flavor, but it wasn't overly flavorful. There you go. It's like a normal tomato, but that. sweeter. Okay. This one's definitely sweeter. You like that? Yeah, it's okay. Is that your favorite one so far? Yeah, probably. Okay. That was nice. It was sweet. Do you know what one that is? Cherry tomato. <laughs> Tastes like a normal cherry tomato. And do you prefer that over your normal tomato? Yeah. This is a cherry mm -hmm. tomato. How do you know? Because it 
was little. Ooh. I actually didn't like that one in comparison to the first one. The first one was like a nice sweet, actually. What's this one? You don't know. You don't like that one? What's wrong with that? Sweet. It's sweeter? Mm -hmm. Try that. Tell them to have tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> that one was sweet. It was definitely juicier. Didn't like it. Didn't like that one. That's bad. I didn't like it. How does that taste different from a normal tomato? Hold up your tomato. Okay. Those are same. None of them are the same. Do you like that one? How it tastes like jelly bean. What's that mean? Yeah, you know those jelly beans? And some of them taste bad, and some of them taste good, and you have to spin the spin. So is that the good tasting one or the bad one? The bad one. No. Oh. <laughs> you know the one with socks? Like Dirty sweet. socks, yeah. it tastes like. It's an end. Ah, uh -huh. this is the one I think you said tastes like stinky socks or something. Am I right? I think so, I don't know. Ooh, that didn't taste nice. It was like, didn't have as much flavor, but there was like a hint of like stinky socks. You remember which one that is, yeah? You're gonna have to tell me at the end. This is the last one. Okay. You like that one? What's wrong with that one? Not sweet. It's plain. You don't like that one. What's wrong with that one? It's more soft. But think taste. Does it taste better? No. They're I kind of the same. Your favorite one? Can mm. It's mushy. Mm. It's delightful. <laughs> <laughs> It didn't have, okay, it didn't have much of a taste. It was a bit mushier than the others, but it was, Delightful. it was refreshing. I actually like that one a lot. I like that one a lot. Now that you've seen our taste test, I was actually quite surprised by a few of the different ones because the ones that, there were certain ones that I tasted and said that they were better and just by growing them I wasn't overly keen on growing them um, so I just kind of want to go through each one now I've noticed that the ones I said were pretty tasteless were the paste tomatoes so that is my rambling tomato my Sicilian paste and my Roma now out of these three um, <laughs> the rambling I haven't really done much with. I haven't trellised it. I've literally let it kind of ramble around in my garden bed. And I've been picking these early as well because there's no bird netting around them. So um, we're probably not getting a true taste with these just because, you know, they don't have as much flavor if you don't let them fully ripen on the vine. But as far as like, growing them, by far, the Sicilian paste has been producing so much more than these other two. It's actually been probably producing the most out of all of the tomatoes that I'm growing this year. And you know, this has been my favorite tomato to grow. I mean, appearance wise, they look beautiful. Weight wise, they're like, you know, they're very dense tomatoes. I've been using them in all of my different recipes. These are my favorite ones to work with. There aren't too many seeds beautiful beautiful tomatoes to work with my aromas um 
they're okay. I will probably plant these until I run out of seeds and then I'll just stick with my Sicilian paste. When I was doing my tasting, this Roma was the one that I said was like quite mushy, which could be because it's so ripe. I've noticed that my Roma tomatoes go bad much faster than any of the other tomatoes that I have on the table. Um, but comparing the two, like the Roma goes fast, uh, goes bad a lot faster than my Sicilian paste which is another reason why I would choose to grow the Sicilian paste tomato over it. Um, but there's, there's nothing wrong with the Romas. It's just I prefer my Sicilian paste tomatoes. A couple things that surprised me was this Brad's Atomic Grape that I really liked. Um, that was surprising to me because as far as growing it, I have not liked growing the Brad's Atomic Grape. Primarily because I'm not really 100% sure when to pick them. I've just been kind of waiting until they kind of soften up and then picking them. They're not as pretty as I thought they were going to be. I thought they were going to be just like a beauty, beautiful thing in the garden. They're not. They're just kind of tomatoes. The one thing I can say is that the birds have not gone after these, probably because they're just as confused as I am about when they're ripe. But yeah, I was surprised that how much I liked it when I was like doing the blind taste test. The Dr. Witchies, both of these are Dr. Witchies. I did grow them from seeds. However, half of them turned out like this and the other half turned out this way. Now, this is your typical Dr. Witchies, what it's supposed to look like. This is obviously, they got their seeds mixed up or it's cross-pollinated or something weird has happened. This cross pollinated one or whatever it is was the one I said it smelled like stinky feet which <laughs> this has been weird from the start so I'm not surprised that I'm not keen on it however its brother here the true Dr. Witchies is the one that I said was a delightful and the best so this is actually my favorite tasting one um it's just it's just a nice tomato, so no complaints with this. So I will grow Dr. Witchies again, even if I have to deal with some stinky feet ones. <laughs> this was a really nice tomato, um, and they grow quite large. They're nice slicing tomatoes. You can use them in sauces, and I've been doing different recipes with them, but they're a nice slicer tomato, and with their good taste, then why not? Let's see, the ox heart. This was another of my favorite ones that I tasted. Um, as far as the ox heart growing it, this is an indeterminate tomato. I, I do need, it has produced a lot of fruit. My trellis needs to be taller because there's like a second round coming through, but they're all kind of flopping over out there. The only thing I didn't like about the ox heart, well, there's two things I didn't like about the ox heart. One is that they're not nearly as big as I thought they were going to be, but I think that's a me issue rather than the tomato issue. I think I need to um, maybe fertilize it better, give it a bit more soil, you know, prune it a bit more something. But the other thing is um, it did have a bit more seeds than I was thinking but it also had yellow shoulder. So this is, the ox heart is what I've been dealing with with the yellow shoulder, which just makes it so that it gets that yellow bit on the top and it's really hard and flavorless and you just kind of have to chop that off. So that's one of the things I've been dealing with the yellow shoulder. However, um, I did put some potassium fertilizer around the base of the plant and I think that has fixed it. What's the other one? The cherry tomato. I was surprised actually that I like the Brad's Atomic Grape more than the cherry tomatoes. The cherry tomatoes are done for the season now. They died early this year. Uh, last year, I had so many more cherry tomatoes. We dehydrate them and then use them for sun-dried tomatoes later. And they're usually the sweeter tomatoes and they just taste nice in a little olive oil and seasonings. Now, and that is what, um, I've also been doing with this purple cocktail tomato. The purple cocktail tomato, I did enjoy growing because I can grow it right over the trellis, no bird netting, nothing because they're a black tomato and they just start to blush right at the very end when they're ready for picking. So that has, and they've been growing in abundance. There are so many of those purple cocktail tomato plant, or tomatoes out on the vine right now. I have one plant and it's producing so much. As far as flavor goes, I think I did find it quite sweet and I have noticed that about this tomato. It is a very, very sweet 
tomato. That's it for today, guys. Um, I hope this was really helpful as far as like us doing our little taste test. Yeah, just kind of sharing a little bit about how they're growing out in the garden. I'll catch you in the next one, guys, and I'll see you later.